Okay, lesson 9, 6. So page 761 out. Answers there. Let's see if I can make them a little bigger for you. Okay. Okay, page 765, permutations. Okay. Colt is planning his Saturday. He wants to mow the grass, go swimming, and do his homework. How many different ways are there to arrange what he wants to do? So he could mow, then swim, then homework. He could mow, then homework, then swim. Swim, mow, homework, swim, homework, mow. Homework, swim, mow, homework, mow, swim. So how many choices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Once the first activity is selected, how many choices does he have for the second activity? Well, he's got three choices. So once he picks one choice, there's two left. After he picks the first and the second activities, then there's one left. Okay, 766. A permutation is an arrangement or listing of objects in which the order is important. So like on the last one, um, you, you can use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of permutations. So there's three choices for the first. Sorry, that should be a three. Three choices for the first activity, two choices for the second activity, one choice for the third activity, three times two times one. There were six different orders. Okay. Number one, Julia is scheduling her first three classes. Her choices are math, science, and language arts. Use the fundamental calendaring principle to find the number of different ways she could schedule her first three classes. So there's three classes for her first choice, then two, then one, three times two times one, just like the last problem, six. An ice cream shop has 31 flavors. So there's 31 choices of ice cream for the first scoop. He's going to have his with three different flavors. So if he picks one for the first scoop, there's going to be 30 choices for the second scoop, 29 choices for the third scoop. Multiply those numbers together and you get 26,970. Go ahead and try A and B. Pause the video. Okay, letter A, we have six volleyball players. So there's a choice of six people that could stand in the first spot. That leaves five for the second spot, four for the third, three, two, times one. We have 30 times four is 120, 360, 720 different ways. A lot of different ways they could stand in a line for a picture. Okay. Part B, in a race with seven runners, how many ways could the runners end up in first, second, and third place? This is important here. So we're not going all the way down to one. We need a first place, a second place, and a third place. So there's seven people that could have got first. That would leave six for second, which would leave five for third. And six times five is 30. So 30 times seven is 210. All right. The symbol P313 means, whoops, sorry. Let me move that back. Get my pen here. This here means permutation 313 means you start with 31 and you need 
three spots. 31 times 30 times 29. Okay, permutation eight, three. Three spots, one, two, three. Start with the eight, eight times seven times six. Letter C, two spots, 12 times 11. Okay, that's what those mean. Go ahead and, and finish C and do D and E, pause the video. Okay, so 12 times 11, 132. We need four spots, so we need four times three times two times one. We have 12 times two, 24. We need five spots on this one. So we're gonna go, let me, I'm gonna pause and then erase my work down below. Okay, we need 10 times nine times eight times seven times six. One, two, three, four, five spots, starting with the 10. So we have 90 times eight is 720 times 42. And if I do that in my calculator, 720 times 42, 30,240. Number four, Ashley's MP3 player has a setting that allows songs to play in random order. She has a playlist that contains 10 songs. What's the probability that she's going to play the first three songs in order? So that's 10, per, or that's permutation 10, 3. So 10 times 9 times 8, 720. So what's the probability? One out of 720. Page 768, swimming event has 10 swimmers. If each swimmer has an equally likely chance of finishing in the top two, that's eight times seven, that's 56 ways. There's only one way of having these two come in first and second, so that's one out of 56. All right, letter F. Two different letters are randomly selected from the letters in the word math. What is the probability that the first letter is the M and the second is the H? Go ahead and pause and do that. First letter, there's four, uh, four outcomes. Once the M is chosen, there's three outcomes left. So there's 12 outcomes but it says, what's the probability? So that's one out of 12. Guided practice. Go ahead and pause and do one, two, and three. Number one, we need a president, a vice president, and a secretary out of 25 students, so that's 25 times 24 times 23. I'm using my calculator, and we get 13,800. I'm going to erase those. Thir oh, go too far. Okay. So we got 13,800. Number two, five times four times three. We need three spots starting with the five. So we have 20 times three. Permutation five, three is 60. Number three, Adrian, Julian, and two of their friends. So there's four people. Is gonna, they're going to sit in a row at a baseball game. If each friend is likely to sit in any seat, what is the probability that Adrian will sit in the first seat and Julian will sit in the second? Four times three. We only need two seats that they're talking about. Twelve. What's the probability? One twelfth. Okay. And homework is 769 and 770 if you want to give them a try. 
And that's it for lesson 9-6.